Greetings my beloved Orthodox Christians. In this video I wanted to give you a little bit of an update in terms of what's been happening in our metropolis at least the past few months this summer. Uh, I've been traveling a lot by car. I've traveled to our parishes in New York City, Long Island, Independence, Ohio, Detroit, Michigan, Bowie, Maryland, Richmond, Virginia, Simpsonville, South Carolina, Albany, Georgia, Clearwater, Florida, but now Florida. Of course, you know that there are quite, uh, there's quite some distance between these parishes, and we live in a very large country, so it's been a little bit of a challenge, but glory to God, we've been able to do that by God's grace and through your prayers. Also, the monastery has been playing an important role, the Monastery of St. John of San Francisco uh, in Cobleskill. It's been playing an important role in the metropolis because many people are coming through here, venerating. There are many pilgrims that uh, pass by, many of whom are not even part of our church, but oftentimes they join us here at the monastery. We have had a number of different baptisms, and of course we send the people to the respective parishes, the closest parishes that uh, they could get to. And so we thank God for that. The monastery has a big project going on because God willing, this spring we're going to start building a cloister. Uh, and this is mainly because um, since the monastery has a certain role in the metropolis, as we said, and it's a missionary role, it's important for the monastery also to be monastic. So the monastics have to be segregated somehow, and they have to have their quiet. Um, that way they can contribute a lot more to the metropolis. Uh, we want to have monks who are men of prayer and so that's the most important thing so please pray for our sacred monastery uh, the metropolis has a cemetery and it's going to be here at the monastery of saint john we've got permits now and we're able to bury the lay people of our sacred metropolis of course if i were a lay person i'd want to be buried in a monastery because you'll be commemorated in all the services and especially in the divine liturgy and that's a great blessing for the souls of the departed um, we also have the iconography project that's part of the uh, monastery project. The, the iconography project is taking place in the Catholicon, uh, the main church of the monastery, the Church of St. John. If anybody's interested in contributing towards these projects, please contact us in the description box below. There should be a link in the description box. Also, we have uh, a parish in Edmonton. Alberta, and they have a big project. They're trying to renovate the church, which was built by which was built by the saintly uh, Archbishop Yuasaf of Canada. And if anybody's interested in contributing towards that project, we will have the information ready for you shortly. The last thing that I wanted to discuss is that uh, some people in our metropolis have talked to me about setting up an Orthodox village. There's been some interest in terms of setting up an Orthodox village. If there's anybody interested in this project, uh, please contact us and uh, take a look at the description box below again, and there should be some information regarding that. May the blessings of the Mother of God and all the saints be with us. God bless you.